Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a 2024 Honda Civic Sport. Let's get started. This Honda Civic that we're taking a look at today is the Sport trim, which is the second of four trim levels available on the 2024 Honda Civic. The base model is called the LX, and then we have this Sport. Following that is the EX, and lastly at the very top of the totem pole is the Touring. Under the hood of this Civic Sport is a two liter four cylinder engine that makes 158 horsepower and 138 pound feet of torque. It's paired with a CVT transmission and it's rated for 30 miles per gallon in the city, 37 on the highway for an average of 33 miles per gallon. And the 2024 Honda Civic Sport starts at $25,550. So in this video, I'm going to be taking you guys on a walk around overview of this 2024 Civic Sport. I'm going to be showing you guys first the exterior and then we're going to jump inside and talk about some of the features. Starting off as usual, we're going to talk about the paint color. This right here is Honda's Aegean Blue Metallic and it looks really nice against this green background that we have here. So this blue is really popping right now. In the front of the Civic, we have these full LED headlights with daytime running lights. Just down below that, you can see little cutouts where fog lights would be, but the Civic Sport does not get fog lights. Over in the center, we have our Honda emblem where we have a little upper grill, and then we have our larger lower grill down below that behind the license plate. For wheels and tires, you get these 18 inch gloss black alloy wheels, and the tire size here is 235-40 R18. The side mirror is gloss black to match the wheels, but it doesn't have a turn signal indicator built in. It doesn't have blind spot monitors, no cameras on it. It's just a regular mirror. The windows are surrounded by matte black plastic. So even right here between the front and rear windows, you have this matte black plastic right here. These door handles have Honda's smart entry. So as long as the key is nearby, go ahead and place your hand right there on the handle. It's gonna unlock. And then you can go ahead and tap on these three lines right here to lock the Civic. The smart entry is only for the front two doors. The rear two doors don't get any of that. Behind the driver's side rear door is where you fuel the Civic. So as long as the Civic is nearby, it is a touch to open system just like that. And it's also a capless system. So all you have to do is put the nozzle into here. There's no cap to unscrew. The Civic Sport takes 12.4 gallons of gas. And if you're doing the average of 33 miles per gallon, you should expect to get about 410 miles of range. If you like this video so far and wanna see more Honda videos on this channel, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Up at the top, we've got no sunroof, but there is a color matched shark fin antenna over at the end. And now let's go ahead and move over to the rear of this Honda Civic, where we can take a look at this trunk lid. It actually raises up just a tiny bit for some extra sporty styling on this Civic. We've got our tail lights back here, a couple of emblems. So we have Civic on the left, Honda right there in the center and Sport over on the right side. We've got some red reflectors just down below the tail lights and all the way down at the rear bumper, we have one single chrome exhaust tip. We're gonna start our interior tour of the Honda Civic by taking a look at the trunk space. Now there's three different ways to open up the trunk. The first way is on the driver's side door panel. There's a button that I'll show you guys later once we get in there. The second way is to use a button that's located right underneath this Honda emblem right here. So there's a little button that you could push. The third way is gonna be to use the key. So let's go ahead and take a look at the key for the Honda Civic right here. We've got a couple of buttons. We have our lock, unlock, remote start. So you can hold down these two. Holding down will remote start the vehicle. Holding down on the right side right here will open up the trunk. And then you also have an alarm button. Because I have the key out, I'll show you guys how to remote start the Civic. It's gonna be lock, lock, and then hold down right here. So you gotta lock twice and then hold. And just like that, the Honda Civic is started. When you get inside, it'll stay on. You're gonna have to put your foot on the brake, press the start button, and you're good to go. In the trunk of the Honda Civic now, we can see that this one here did come with this rubber mat that also says Civic on it. If we go ahead and lift this up right here, we can go ahead and take a look at what's underneath. We've got a spare tire and some tools as well. And if we look just up right here, you can see that there is a little release to fold down the seats. Now, unlike most cars that have like a 60-40 split for the rear, this right here will go down as one single piece. So I'll show you guys later when we jump into the back seats that all three seats are gonna fold down as one. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the cabin of the 2024 Honda Civic. But as usual, we're gonna start with the door panel. Over here, we've got one of our eight interior speakers, some space for cups or water bottles, a small little storage pocket right over here our four window switches right here. Only the front two windows are auto up down. The rest you're gonna have to hold to roll up and down. We've got our window lock button, lock and unlock for the whole vehicle. And we've got our mirror controls. Right behind all those buttons, we have our release for the trunk, a chrome door handle right here. And this door panel is made up of some hard touch plastics, a little bit of fabric and some more hard touch plastics down at the bottom. 
Next up, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the seats of this 2024 Honda Civic. These are black fabric seats, but they do have a tiny little bit of leather right here on the sides. These are also manual seats, so no power adjustment. You can go ahead and raise the seat up or down right here or recline it right here. Before we fully get in, we've got a couple of extra buttons and releases over here. So all the way down by this footrest right here, you've got your release for the hood. You can just go ahead and pull that right there. There's a button to turn off traction control, a button for Honda's safety systems. Over here, we've got a brightness control for the center gauges and just above that we have this very cool looking vent it's a honeycomb style and we can use this little stick right here to point the airflow left right up or down we could also change the position of the steering wheel by pulling down on this lever right here adjusting the steering wheel up down in or out and then you can go ahead and pull back up right here on the lever all right, now sitting inside of the 2024 Civic Sport, we've got our leather wrapped steering wheel. That's something that the Sport trim gets that the LX doesn't, in addition to some of the other things that we see here, like the keyless entry, the push button start. But we get this really nice leather steering wheel. It also has some white stitching going on the inside. There's also plenty of steering wheel buttons. So we have all of our cruise control and lane mitigation settings over on the right side. On the left side, we can control audio and multimedia, as well as control the little screen that's on the center gauges. The Sport model also gets paddle shifters even though this is a CVT, it's gonna simulate the shifting of gear so we can go down a gear on the left, up a gear on the right. We've got our turn signals on the left, our wiper controls on the right, and we do also have automatic headlights. Our push button start is also right behind the steering wheel. So let's go ahead and turn on this Honda Civic and see what it looks like. This is what the gauges look like in the Honda Civic. Everything to the left of the speedometer is digital and this speedometer right here is analog. So we can actually control what we see over on the left side right there where the tachometer is. We can put all sorts of different information in that little area by pressing the home button right here on the steering wheel and then using this little scroll wheel like this to change what we see. So we have warnings, range and fuel, speed and time, driver attention, seat belts, maintenance, safety support, settings. We can customize the display as well. No content, that's what I had it on before, but you can have anything you want right here inside this tachometer gauge. So we're gonna set it over to range and fuel, which I bet is a pretty popular one. You can see how much range you have left to go and what your average fuel economy is so far. You can also see how many miles you have on trip A or trip B. And then just down below that, you have your time. In the very center, you have your fuel level and engine temperatures. You can see if your safety settings are turned on or off by that little green car and that circle around it. You can see what gear you're in, so we're in park right now. Total odometer for the vehicle what drive mode you're in, temperature outside, speed limit of the area you're at, and your digital speed. Analog speedometers over on the right side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the center display now. This Civic Sport has a seven inch touchscreen display. It does not have wireless Apple CarPlay or wireless Android Auto, which I thought was a little bit disappointing for 2024, but it does have wired Apple CarPlay and wired Android Auto. So as long as you connect to the USB port, you can have Apple Maps, Google Maps, whatever you use pop up on the screen. But if you don't wanna connect your phone by wire, you can still just use regular Bluetooth and we can scroll on this screen by using this little dial right here on the right side. It is also a touch screen as well. The volume knob is over on the left side and you can see that both of these knobs right here are textured. I've got my phone connected now with USB and we can take a look at what this screen looks like with Apple CarPlay. You can see the colors aren't perfectly sharp, but it's good enough. We can go ahead and go back to the Honda screen just like that. Right below the screen, we have our emergency lights and we have this huge air vent right here that stretches all the way out to the end of the passenger side. We've got some more of these sticks right here to help direct the airflow. But this is one of my favorite things about this new Honda Civic is just this honeycomb design. I think it looks really nice. Right below the air vent are the HVAC controls and they're super simple to use in the Civic. So you have this first dial right here, which lets you adjust the temperature. Second dial right here is gonna let you adjust the fan speed. And this third dial right here will just let you change which vents are blowing and in which direction. Right below the HVAC controls is some storage space where you can place your phone or other objects. And we have a USB type A port and a 12 volt power outlet. I was a little bit disappointed to not see at least one USB-C port in this vehicle. In fact, this USB-A port is the only USB port in this entire Civic. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shifter next where we have park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Let's also take a look at the reverse camera, which is really cool because there are three different angles that you can take a look at. So we have this wide angle right here, a normal view just like this, and then you get this top-down view as well so you can just line yourself up somewhere. Right below the shifter is a drive mode selector where we can switch between sport, normal, and eco. That's gonna display right here in the center gauges. So as I move it around, we're in eco right now. We can go to normal and sport just like that. 
Right below that is this button that says A off. This is gonna turn off the automatic start stop feature. So by default in this Honda Civic, if you come to a complete stop, like a red light, for example, it's gonna kill the engine so that it'll save on some fuel. If you don't like that feature, go ahead and press this button right here to turn that feature off. You do have to press it every time you get in the car if you don't like this feature though. Right below that, we've got our electronic parking brake so you can press up or pull down like this. You do have to do it yourself. It's not gonna go up for you automatically if you put the car in park. Right below that, we've got our brake hold feature. So if you come to a complete stop, you can go ahead and press this button right here. It'll hold the brake for you. And if you wanna go again, you just tap the gas. There's also two large cup holders. And if I go ahead and zoom into this center area right here, you can see that it's actually textured, which is a really nice touch. Let's take a look at the center console next where we actually have no USB ports, no power outlets. There is this cool little tray though where you can place it either here or here, so wherever you like it, or you could just take it out if you don't like it at all. And there is the amount of space that we have, but like I said, no USB ports, no power outlets inside this center console. Let's go ahead and jump into the passenger side next of this Honda Civic Sport. So jumping into here, we can take a look at this seat. It's basically the same thing that we had over on the driver's side, but you actually can only recline the passenger seat. You can't raise it up or down. That's pretty standard stuff, but like I said, all the adjustments on the passenger side and the driver's side seat are all manual. Sitting in the passenger side of the Honda Civic, you get to see the continuation right here of this center air vent. And like I said, we can just move around the airflow in certain little areas of this vent. This entire panel is not all one giant vent. So you can see like right from here to here is entirely blocked off. So it's just this area right here is a vent. You've got about this area right here is a vent. And then this area right here is a vent. This large piece right here is actually completely blocked off. I don't mind it at all just because it looks very cool to have this going from the steering wheel all the way over to the passenger side door panel. There's also a glove box down here. It does not have a lock on it for any sort of valet. That's sort of expected at this price point. But inside here, we just have our owner's manuals and our alloy wheel lock keys. Moving upwards, we have our rear view mirror which does not have auto dimming. You do have to dim it yourself manually by pulling on this right here in the center. So come nighttime, if you don't wanna get blinded by the lights, just go ahead and flick this right here. It's gonna dim for you. Just above that, we've got our lights right here, which are LED, which is a really nice touch. Let's go ahead and take a look at the visor next. The visor has this large cover right here. We've got a mirror, but there is no light. And like we said earlier in the video, the Civic Sport has no sunroof. The last thing that we're gonna do is check out the back seats of this Civic Sport over here. So we can see the door panel is pretty much the same, just a little bit smaller than what we see in the front. And then we have our rear seats over here, which are again, black fabric. This middle seat, if you can even call it a middle seat, so tiny, but it's actually leather. So that's for once a premium of sitting in the middle if you're in the back. We've already pulled the little latch in the trunk so we can go ahead and pull these seats forward just like this and see that all seats come down together as one. So if the space in the trunk is not enough for you, you can go ahead and fold down these seats right here and get all that extra space. Sitting in these back seats, I'm actually very comfortable. I'm five foot nine and there's a ton of leg space back here for a compact sedan. There's no pockets right here behind the driver and the passenger side. There's also no air vents or no USB-C ports. So I wouldn't be comfortable in here in terms of the amenities that we have, but in terms of the space for a compact sedan, it's more than enough for somebody like me. One other thing that I wanna point out back here is that the middle seat does not fold down if you are not using it. So you can't get that armrest or two extra cup holders like a lot of cars give you. So that's gonna do it for this walk around overview video of the 2024 Honda Civic Sport. If you guys wanna see more Honda videos on the channel, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that I can see that people are interested in this type of video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all next time.